OMG, it is so great to see you. It's yeah. been a couple of years since I've seen you here in Toronto. It seriously has, yeah. Last time I saw you, I was a brunette. You were a brunette and you were trying to teach me how to dance and somehow I hit my head on something and dropped or whatever. But it is great to yeah. see. Yeah. Oh, were you okay? Uh, you survived. Look, I got to dance with the, 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 the woman that created the Pussycat Dolls, Girlicious. Yes. Uh, she started a strong movement in dance around the world. Of course, I'm going to be okay falling in front of you. I love it. Thank you so much. That's so awesome. I appreciate you saying that because I'm, I'm feeling the love here in Canada. It's amazing. I get out of the car. Everyone's like, Robin Anton. I'm just like, yeah, that's me. Oh, my God. Everybody knows me. I forgot. Well, we, should ex we should explain very quickly, though. You're here at the Mod Club. There's a reason why you're yes. here. Yes, I'm here. Um, Army of Sass brought me out. Uh, they are um, all about female empowerment. Uh, Carla Catherwood is the uh, founder, CEO of... of Army of Sass, and she tells me every day that she was inspired by me, that I was the one that she actually saw a video, may have been something that we did here, and literally was like, boom, she just went like, wait, that is, I, I identify with that, I want that, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to start something. I'm going to start a movement here and I love that. I love inspiring people and I, I love when when you know when I can give back and I can I can help people live out their dreams, now, you know. Is this going to be a little so, bit of dance and a little bit of talk? Yeah, so so today is all about dance. Um, it's about um, there's a lot of different levels here today. Uh, yesterday I did something at the underground dance studio. Um, uh, everyone quiet. Everyone's walking in and they're just like like being really loud. That's the way it always yeah, yeah. works, you know. Yeah, it's okay. The publicist. Uh, and um, they, uh, you know, so, so a lot of dancers and non-dancers, which is great. I like to also uh, teach people and inspire people and empower uh, men, or, well, I say men, me, women and men, uh, to, to dance and to live out their dreams uh, as, uh, you know, they're, they're sort of, it's like wish, wish fulfillment as wanting to be a dancer. So that's what today is about. Yesterday was a lot of professional dancers. So it's great because I got to teach a, a really high intensity level. Today is a little bit of a lower level. But still, you know, I still give the same energy and I still give my same passion and my love for everything that I do. And a lot of my um, experiences as a dancer, as a choreographer, how I created the Pussycat Dolls, where where I started, you know, because a lot of people out there, they would love to do what I do or what I've done and how I've done it, but they never know, like, well, how did you do it? And the truth is, I just did it from the same place that they are, like, wanting to do something on their own. They're starting from the bottom, starting from the ground, no money, all of those stories that exist. That's exactly how I started. I just started in a little garage with friends and then just built it and built it and just stayed true to my dream, you know, and stuck with it. I mean, that's how even today I opened up a new dance studio in L.A. called Playground L.A. Congratulations. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so incredibly proud of it um, and, and realize that so many dancers all around now know about Playground. We have the greatest, uh, greatest instructors, greatest teachers, um, all the biggest, you know, uh, star uh, teachers uh, from, you know, Jojo Gomez to um, uh, Aaliyah to my partner, Kenny Wormald. He's my, my partner in the studio and he's, you know, uh, pretty famous out there. And, you know, it's, it's nice to see all of these people coming through. And I started that the same way that I started Pussycat Dolls. Same thing. I was like, me, Kenny and I one day were like, God, you know, it'd be cool to like open up a studio and like, you know, yes, it takes it takes work, it takes passion, it takes dedication. But we did it, and now it's successful. You know, thank God. It's like we're we're so proud and we're so happy and honored. But how do you make time for all this? I mean, you've done reality shows, you've yeah. got your your fashion line too. Uh -huh. uh, there's so many things going on in your life. How do you make the time for this? And also, you kind of mentioned about your your secret and doing things. But is, is what's the real motivation behind it? What what is that key that kept you going? You know, I mean, I, I, I think that the first thing is just is, is confidence in myself and confidence that whatever I bring to the table is, is going to be the best that I could possibly do and, 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 and know that no matter what, that even if it fails, sometimes you have to be ready for that. You have to be ready for a failure. And even if it doesn't work, you gave it your best shot. You did your best. And then just keep trying and, and maybe rework it and do something else. You know, when we first opened up the, the studio, there were things that weren't working. It was like, oh, you know, maybe that's the wrong time for that teacher or maybe that class isn't right. Whatever it is, then you just, like, get back in it 
you know, get back on the horse and just keep going. And, and I mean, it's so true. It's like, you know, I'm, I'm always ready for that sort of like, oh no, is it going to work? It's not like I walk in going like, yeah, like I'm the, you know, I can do it all because I'm just like everyone else. I think that even someone like Steve Jobs probably felt that too. Like, you know, they get, they get, you get worried, you know, I mean, Jimmy Iovine was my partner for, for, you know, 10 years from Interscope Records. Um, helped me build the Pussycat Dolls, helped me, you know, uh, turn it into what it is today. And I have to say, it's like, he gave me so much inspiration. He taught me so much about what, um, what it means to, to be a boss and, and know that, you know, your stuff um, can be as big and then, as, and, and then immediately as small in two seconds. So it's just about believing in yourself and not getting ahead of yourself. You know, and, and just and just having the passion. And he believed in me so much. It's like he he signed the Pussycat Dolls, but it was really that he was betting on me because he knew that what I was bringing to the table was like 100% of me and 100% of everything I was doing. And therefore, everything else was, you know, yes, you got to put it out there to the audience. And the audience really tells... They decide, you know, the fans decide what we what we are. The fans are responsible for, for all of my success. But it's still having those people and those partners that believe in you. Like, so that's how I am today. I believe in other people. I believe in the people that are with me, that walk with me and, and help me through this. You know, I didn't I don't do any of this on my own. All everything I do is always, you know, I give so much I'm so, I'm so proud of everyone that works for me, from my assistant, Alicia, over there, who's from Canada, and um, everyone that, that, that comes along with me. And, and believe, if you believe in me, I believe in you, you know? But there's a strong uh, women's movement going on right now. You started your own revolution many years ago yeah. before this was going on. What do you think about the movement now? And what do you think about what you did before? Because in a lot of ways, you were part of those pioneers that helped lead up to what's going on today. Thank you. I appreciate you saying that. I really do see that. You know, I'm looking at Instagram yesterday and all over Instagram, it's like women's march, women's march, women, women, women. Um, and it's so interesting how it's like we we were, I really do feel like I was, I mean, a pioneer is like, a, it's a big word to say, but I feel like I was someone that knew what it meant to, 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 to gather women all around and make a female you know, em uh, empowerment, but female is important and, and, and to, um, to be able to celebrate, you know, women, you know, and, and that was something that it was like, I did it without even realizing what I was doing in a way, but I knew that I was, I loved women and I, you know, I like, I loved um, building women up and I always, I said yesterday in one of the dance classes, like, I love putting women in front of me because I love to watch everyone grow. I love to build stars, you know, and, and, and I love to be in front of the camera and I love to be a, a, a one of one of the women, but it's like, I'm not always trying to make myself the star, you know, or really, really you know what I mean? I, I want everyone else to be, to be the star and everyone, I want to watch everyone else grow and I, I'm so inspired by by talent, you know, and yes, by women, but by talent overall. And I think that the, the movement is something that like, you know, I'm so proud to be a part of it naturally and not to sort of just be jumping on board because, you know, oh, now there's a, a women's movement. Now I'm going to jump on board and I'm going to be, I'm going to say me too, or I'm going to say all that. Honestly, like I'm so uh, behind all of the women that are of the Me Too movement. I'm so behind all of the women that have, that have uh, struggled. A, a million percent. Um, I um, don't have those. I don't have those same struggles. I have to say, and and you know, I the people that I've worked with, from Jimmy Iovine mean, to everybody in my in my camp, has really respected me and really uh, honored everything that I've done. So I'm also proud to be able to say, you know. Um, I've just, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to have been able to be a part of something that is a, that, that was also very positive. You know, I have three brothers, and I look at my brothers, and they're men, and I just, and my dad, you know, and I really do come from a place of, of love and respect, and I watch my brothers, you know, really respect women, you know, and and not treat women bad, and and I and I, but I have a lot of friends, and I have a lot of. Uh, people that I know that have been treated bad and that I, you know, I, like I said, I stand behind them a million percent. But I'm also one of those people that, you know, I, lo I, love, I love men, you know what I mean? And I, I, lo I love men that respect and that, and, and I'm proud to have been a part of a, a, a camp and a group of people like my, my Interscope family that really took care of me and really, 
you know, took me, um, took, you know, brought, brought me up, you know, and, and held me up high. Um, Jimmy Iovine always, whenever, you know, Dr. Dre would come around or any of the, those important guys, you know, Jimmy would always say, you know, this is all Robin, you know, this is all Robin. Like, this is like, you know, don't look at me, like, this is Robin. And he always made me feel so um, respected, you know, and I just, I, I mean, I really, I can't say enough about that, you know. I know I got to wrap this up because you yes. got fans down there yeah. waiting for yeah. you, but I got to ask you very quickly, what's going to happen in the future? Is there another girl group on the horizon? Uh, more fashion, jewelry, anything? Yeah. What's going on on your list? Well, um, God, it's funny yesterday talk about girl groups, you know, we did, we, we were playing girlicious and like we're doing, playing stupid shit and, and, and like me, you know, and, and just the memories, you know, like I, I was like, my, oh my God, my brother directed, brother Steve directed like me and like it, it was just so exciting I was like wow I really did some great girl groups and th speaking of girl groups um the Pussycat Dolls uh you know we're all really it not that we weren't close but you know we all kind of went our own ways and now we're all like back and we're talking and we're and we're we're talking about a possible I'm I'm, I'm come saying on, possible come on come on say it possible reunion ah, yeah right. yeah we're talking about it and we're and we're really like you know we're 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 going through all the details um to really make it work meaning just for the fans it's not like you're like we're all friends and we love each other and we really are we are like sisters so now that we're all back in this sort of like you know hub it's so cool so it's almost like if it didn't happen it would the best thing for me would be that we are back in that place but I do, I kind of think it's going to happen. All right, fantastic. Yeah. Website, okay. Twitter, all that stuff. Where do yeah. you go to so, follow? Yeah, so website, yeah, uh, Robin Anton uh, uh, is my Instagram. Um, uh, yeah, Twitter, Robin Anton PCD. But I, I'm really like Instagram. So if you really want to find me, just like Instagram, DM, watch, I'm starting to do, you know, my, my stories on Instagram. And um, Pussycat Dolls, obviously, Puss, we do, we have Pussycat Dolls reunion that we're just, oh. I, I, I didn't start it, but it's out there, and it's like, and it's actually happening. So the movement is happening, even with the Pussycat Dolls. Yes, love. yes the movement is happening, and uh, you know, PCD forever. And thank you to all the fans and everyone out there, um, and, and everyone out there that's, that's been here and supporting me. I feel so much love here. I can't even tell you. I feel like we're gonna do so much here in Canada for everyone, for for everyone that's supporting me. So we love you. I love you. Thank you so much for yeah. the interview. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. So good to see you.